Hey there guys, our assignment today is finding all real zeros using the rational zero theorem and synthetic division. Our polynomial is 2x4 plus 5x cubed plus, my, I'm sorry, 2x4 minus 5x cubed minus 12x squared minus x plus 4. And we're going to start off using the rational zero theorem, which is all factors of 4 over factors of 2. It's always going to be the last digit and over the first digit. Okay, and the factors of 4 are 1, 2, and 4. And factors of 2 are 1 and 2. This comes out to be um, plus or minus one, one half, two, and four. And this is just one over one, and then one over two, and then two over one, and then four over two, which is still two. And I'm sorry, 2 over 2, which is still 1, and then 1 over 2, or 4 over 2, and 4 over 1. Um, let me just. Uh, Alright, and next we have synthetic division, which is our next step in the problem. Synthetic division is gonna. We're gonna start off by choosing um, any of these factors we have here, um, positive or negative, and you, this is usually just a process of elimination going through them. Um, we'd start with one perhaps, and then go to negative one, one half, and then negative half. And if if it turns out none of these are working, then you've probably done this part wrong. Um, but for the sake of time and holding this camera up at this page, I'm just going to go with the factors that we have working. Um, and luckily for me that was only negative one, so we're saving a little bit of time here, not much. Um, and synthetic division, as you may know, um, uses the coefficients from these numbers, um, these values. So we're going to have a two a negative 5, a negative 12, a negative 1, and a 4. Okay. And through the process of synthetic division, you bring down the first digit, and that would be a 2, and this is going to become a negative 2. And you add, add these values here for a negative 7, and this is going to be a positive 7. This will be a 5. Um, you're going to get negative, oh, negative 5, right? No. No. I'm sorry, this is a negative. Seven, negative five, negative five, and this is a positive five. You're going to get four here. Sorry about that. And then you're going to get negative 4. Just had a brain fart. That comes along with math, so you might have those on your own. Um, so then, through synthetic division, we find that negative 1 is a factor, and negative 1 being a factor is x minus negative 1, or x plus 1. That's a full factor. And through synthetic division, we also have the quotient, I believe it's called, or the, yeah, the quotient, and that's going to be 2x cubed, you drop that down one, one multiplicity, um, minus 7x squared minus 5x plus 4, and that's going to be our 
dividend and quotient together right there. Or divisor and quotient, I'm sorry. Um, and through this, we can't factor this out yet. And we're looking for all the real zeros. So we already have 1, which is negative 1. And we know that there's going to be at least at least 3 more. But we're going to have to check on that. Or at least one more. To, or two more, or three more. I'm not entirely sure. That's why I'm not teaching math full time, I guess. Um, but yes, let's go on to the next step. Next step here, we're going to keep using synthetic division. And we're going to go back to our factors that we got up here with the rational zero theorem. Um, and so, for the sake of time again, I'm just going to go with negative one. Um, see if this works again. And I've already done this problem, and I found out that negative one does work again. So let's let's give it a go. And we're gonna use these coefficients right here, which are up here as well. Two, negative seven, negative five, four. Um, so we got two, and that multiplied is negative two, so we have negative nine. We get a 9, and then these added are a 4. We get negative 4, and no remainder again. This is the important part. You want that 0, that's how you know that you're going to get no remainder. And no remainder is good because then it gives you this nice problem right there. So this is going to drop down another multiplicity to 2x. squared minus 7x or 9x minus 9x plus 4 don't know where I got that 7 from but yeah um, and this means that x plus 1 this is the x plus 1 from the previous one and we're just going to square that because now we have x minus 1 as another factor And now we can we can factor this out, and this factors nicely to a two x here, an x here. And we need to get negative nine um, by adding the values, and um, four positive four by multiplying the values. And we're going to get that with a negative one and a negative four, because a negative four multiplies over here to an 8x, negative 8x, and then a negative 1 here gives us um, a nice negative 9x. And we get our positive 4 as well. So here we have all of the necessary synthetic division and factoring completed. Um, it's x plus 1 squared here. Oops. And I like what we're seeing. We, we've we got the possibility to write down all of our zeros. So let's set these all equal to zero. 2x minus 1 equals zero. x minus 4 equals zero. And x plus 1 equals zero. We're not going to use the second x plus 1 because this is a multiplicity of 2. And that counts only as 1, 0. So this is going to be 2x equals 1, x equals 1 half, and that's our first zero. This is going to be x equals 4 as a, for a second zero, and this is going to be x equals negative 1 for our third and final zero. Um, and that completes our problem um, using synthetic division in the rational zero theorem. For on this sub, uh, we find we have three zeros which fits under the degree of four, so we don't have more than four zeros. And yeah, thanks for watching.